So, I got some new microphones for our recording studio, JMR Audio Recording, uh, link in the description. So, Joel Ramirez so is nice. here with me, uh, we're going to do this together. Cool. So, um, this is a bit of an epic unboxing video, there's like six microphones in this thing. Really? Yeah. That's very much. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's about good size, though. I got a bunch for um, the drum kit, so, because we had, uh, yeah, I'm getting tired of getting the microphones from church and moving it around from the studio. Them, yeah. yeah, back and forth. So we ended up basically just getting another set. Yeah. So it came in today. Uh, <clears throat> sweet water. Um, this is big as my body. Right. Let's, let's open this thing. Let's see what's in here. All right. Oh, I don't have a knife or anything, so I have, I have keys. That'll still work. Keys works. So here's Sweetwater sticker. Sweet. We have other papers. Invoice. That are important. Yep. So the invoice is one Beta 57A. Uh, that is for the snare. Uh, an Audix i5 also for the snare. Yeah. So um, we could either use it for under snare. We already have an SM57. Mm. Um, most drummers or record producers, recording engineers will either use the, the two big standard ones are an SM57 and an Audix i5. Yeah. <clears throat> we didn't have an i5. So the ones we ordered, right? to fill out, yeah, to fill out what is standard in the studio is. We end up just getting an i5. Mm. We could either use that as a top snare, bottom snare, or even um, hi hat. I say just adventure with them. Yeah, that's an experiment. So, um, keeping, like with that of, yeah, keeping with that rule of yeah, keeping that rule of what we already have to expand and supplement on, mm -hmm. we got a AKG D112. Mm. That's a kick drum mic. We already have so a Shure Beta 50. Um, 57? Yeah. 52. Beta, beta, beta 52. We already have a Beta 52. So, but the other industry standard is the AKG D112. So to keep track of. Right. So, now, like the like the 57, the i5, mm. we have the Beta 52 and the um, D112. The D112 is a cool uh, microphone. It has, um, I had a buddy come in and he brought one because he had his own kick drum and he bought his own, he bought his own mm. microphones. Which is great to do if you have microphones you're going to the studio. Bring your own mics. That give that um, especially for the smaller studio. Perfect. Way more options. Yeah. We ended, up, we ended up going with that microphone and using our beta for something else. Yeah. Um, able to maneuver it. So yeah. the 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 sure beta is bigger mm. and boomier. Not boomier, fuller, and it's a really good modern sounding microphone. These ones are good. The D112 is a little more um, vintagey, Tony kind of thing. Mm. So these are really good mics. I, yeah, we're going to experiment depending on the drummer, what they like. Yeah, if they want to play an older vintage style like your, mm -hmm. like your dad's band, yeah. I'll definitely be using the, the D112. Yeah, they don't want to go with that right. set sound. Right, right. Um, something modern, like when Marco plays mm -hmm. with someone else, uh, uh, a rock drum or something, yeah. I'll, probably, I'll most likely Animal be using the, the beta, yeah, 52. Um, <clears throat> the next three microphones are uh, for the toms. Mm. Um, the uh, we have a set of Sure, not Sure Sennheiser. I forget the model number. I'll probably flash it up. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> they're 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 like one of the the cheaper industry standards. Even comes. Yeah, that's why I ordered sweet water. That's cool. <laughs> Um, but we got some Tom microphones. We went, I went, I picked up the microphones. I went with the uh, new, newish, I think they're like two years old. Mm. In the microphone world, two years is like Those are the much ones new. we were using. These are totally new. No, you, you never seen the before. ones. Hmm? No. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> these are, um, yeah, you're gonna like these when you see these. These guys. So uh, uh, I was listening to some Tom videos. Mm. Um, and these seem like the clearest to me. Uh, the Electro Voice, yeah. we got, I have two ND44s and one ND46. Uh, for the 44s for the 
higher toms, and the 46 for the low toms. 44. Yeah, that's it. Let's, um, there probably, there there isn't much on YouTube yet, but what the, the, the sound samples with I heard, ones? yeah, comparing these with other microphones, mm -hmm. I really liked these. These sounded really clear and even. Um, Punctuated sound. Yeah. That has everything you need in there. So, let's take it out. Let's open it up. Why not? Okay. So we have, oh, let's play by one side. Cool. So yeah. Want to read off the, um, read off what it says. The features are excellent acoustic control with aggressive and punctuated sound. Second one is large diaphragm. Dynamic capsules creates a rich and detailed frequency response. Easy mic replacement with low profile pivoting head. Humbucking coil guards against line hum. Memorflex grill resists denting. What's that bottom mean? <laughs> uh, denting. No, like, yeah, what's that? Oh, Memorflex grill. What type of sound does that? So, that's not a sound thing. It's when you put a microphone in front of a, in front of a drum, mm -hmm. the drummer's gonna hit it. Exactly. So, Memorflex grill, so it's a hard grill. So, when a drummer hits it, it's not gonna make any dents. Okay. It'll stay looking good for a while. Here's a warranty card. And the manual. Something durable in the book. Yep. Yeah. And no one reads these. <laughs> <laughs> so, why not? so it's funny, like my role, my big role in the band is, you know, and everything is like, I'm always the manual reader. Yeah. So everyone. You know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, cool. Don't forget. This bag is cool. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is so it's beautiful. Anyway, here is the microphone. This I think is like, the microphone. Right? This is like out of focus. This is in focus. I'm trying to be right here yeah. <laughs> where our faces are. This is the microphone. That is tiny. Oh, the inside is cool. This is a really cool bag. You put two of these in there. There's, there's a little, That's there's cool. a little like divider in the pouch. Oh, that is cool. First one. I better look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's. <laughs> I have it on manual focus, so I have to get close. There we go. Uh, yep. So these are cool. Let me focus back on you. Cool. You got it. These are cool because um, so that's what the clip at. Mm -hmm. Here's the clip. There you go. So these are cool. Like the other uh, sanitizers we have, comes with this clip on, so you clip it to the drum shell. Put it on here. Yeah. So it's on the drum shell. And you could pivot here on this Any thing. Any angle you want. And this can it goes down. That right. looks cool. So that goes over the front microphone. And the other ones we have that the, the cable comes off the, the back of the microphone. Mm -hmm. So it's basically sitting on the drum like this, creating this. Yeah, cable. but this one. This one's down here. So it's a lot more discreet yeah. over the drum. Yeah, it doesn't point out. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it makes sense. Yep. Looks cool. Why not? It has nice sound. What are the beta 5.7As? Oh, uh, we'll get to that in a second. We'll put this in here. Put the clip in the bag. All right. Making a mess on Jeremiah's floor. Oh! That's cool, though. Uh, our studio, studio today is Jeremiah Ramirez's uh, bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah was uh -huh. in a uh, forklift accident recently, so he's kind of bedridden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of been lonely, so we we're actually in here <laughs> in his room recording this. He has a pretty nice room, doesn't he? Yeah, space. Yeah, who has a couch in their bedroom? Good lighting, too. Yeah, I brought the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's feeling part of the action. <laughs> Say hi, Jeremiah. What's up, y'all? You know, <laughs> actually, I think Jeremiah Studios. There. I think the uh, microphone is directional, so I think probably not even hear you. But is the focus good? If you okay. guys do, that was anyway. So, the Beta 58. So, yeah, this thing I was looking life. forward to buying. Yeah. So, uh, the last time. Are know, they really that, like, thick looking? I think so. Like, yeah. Well, let's open it and find out. Okay. All right. So, I'll read the back. Because it doesn't look like it'd be too big. Uncomfortable. Yeah, you ever, you ever see the black, the black uh, microphone on, on Marco Snare? Yeah. It's a beta, it's a nicer version of that, like the exact microphone. Oh, cool. Put me out loud. Alright. 
For the precision sound premiere performance for two, over two decades, better microphones have been the choice of top touring and recording professionals for capturing fine details in demanding acoustic environments. Each specialized model is precision engineered for focus, accurate reproduction of the intended source. Recognized for their sup superior construction, low handling nose and high gain before feedback. That's a way read manual. Right? Better microphones, redefine sensitivity, control for essential expert sound reinforcements. And all these things have so much like extra tools in there that you don't even know. Yep. New microphones, SM, Bellas, KSMs. An adapter. There's a mic clip. The... Just a bit more card yeah. here. So this is the warranty card. This it's like this doesn't end. Safety, safety instructions. <laughs> Don't want to get injured with the microphone. Yeah, this is in, this is all in English. Um, more... Service centers and blah blah blah. Cool. So the SM57 hundred dollar mic, industry standard. Mm -hmm. um, you can record anything with that microphone. Let's open that up. This is a as a SM. Uh, oh, that is a Beta is. <laughs> 57. Uh, your dad just that ended is up so getting. Cool. Your dad just ended up getting a, a Beta 58, mm -hmm. which is in the. Um, rehearsal space right now. So this thing is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted, I, wanted, I, wanted to get, I wanted to get one of these for the studio for myself for a very long time. Is that the only one we have in here? Yeah, the only one of these. Mm -hmm. So this is the one with a snare. Yeah. This that is a super down. cardioid microphone. Mm -hmm. So a regular 57 is a regular cardioid, so it's, it's a yeah. little wider. Um, you'll probably be diagrams in the instruction thing, right or this guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, see how that, that circle on the ring? Yeah. That is what the microphone listens to. How, how it listens. It, it, it's, it's field, it's it captures. field, it's that's field what of it view yeah. as, far as, as far as noise. And that's so this one is a little narrower. Mm -hmm. So when you have it on a source, it's going to be more directional. Exactly. It's not going to so, yeah. capture what's going right. more around it. It's so you have it on the, the snare, source. it's going to get less tom, yeah. it's going to get less hi hat. It's going to get the source. It's going to get, want. yeah, more snare. Something you want from the mic. Yep. And it's hidden. Perfect. Yep. These are little oh, clips. Don't so that. this is gonna be amazing when we record. Can't wait. Have more of the MD 44s How much? How much did we have? One, uh, two, three. Got two MD 44s I don't think so, man. Uh, so this is an MD forty six. This, this is a forty four. The same as that one. Mm -hmm. This guy's a forty six. That's cool. 46 are what bigger? Yep. More, more. So Let's get back to it. this guy. So these, so these two other these that the, the 44s mm -hmm. are gonna be for the high and middle tom. Exactly. This is gonna be for these the low tom. For the smaller. You want the bigger microphones going for the right bassier, bigger sounds. Yep. Er, uh, Can read that. The ND46 smooth controlled sound with crisp mids and top end details. And yeah, the details look pretty legit. I can't wait to see it. I think they mean detail and sound. Yeah, but detail in there too. <laughs> look at that. Here's a microphone. Get the best of both worlds. So maybe. this doesn't come with a drum mic clip, it mm -hmm. comes with a regular uh, microphone clip. Yeah. So I'd have to buy one to, to mount the drum. That. Or just use a stand. Since it's a a, a drum, the, the low tom, mm -hmm. it, uh, there probably won't be any issue using a stand because it's kind of out of the way. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. So, just a simple warranty card. And it's a pretty simple uh, spec sheet. Let's look at the microphone. These pouches are nice. These pouches are... are I like these a lot better than the Shure. Yeah. The Shure is like this this oversized pleather. This is like this rough, yeah, like I, gig bag. Yeah, I personally like these ones. Yeah? A little better. Yeah. I feel like these would be um, 
a little, little more durable out in the real mm -hmm. world. Nah, that's true. This, this could get like scratched or something, mm -hmm. or um, wouldn't look as nice as for as long. And and I see little these are what they use for the headphones. The yeah. In ears, the shafts. Yeah, all it is is just that pouch. Cool look. Cool looks. <clears throat> but let's open this up. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> no right, so this thing has a, a button look at to, that. to move it and lock it. Yeah. You know, sits over. How is the? This one is it really, easy to move. Yeah, yes, is this little button. Yeah. That's cool. It has that middle pouch? See, yeah, the, see the inside has it has padding on it. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is a, it keeps it safe. Foam. It doesn't feel like you're, you know, messing. That it up feels though. like that it's feels smooth. like a quality microphone. Yeah. It feels like Everything heavy and. With it. Yeah. This is out. cool. So this this is the one that really sold me. Mm -hmm. I um listened to their the, 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 um they basically had a ring of microphones of, these? of different microphones. Oh, I was gonna say around a, a, a tom, and they, you'd hit the tom, yeah. and I'll probably find it again and link it. Um, and this one sounded the best on that mm -hmm. four toms, like oh, like, so by, they were testing by far, yeah. So the same hit, but they just repeated it with the different microphones. Mm -hmm. And right. this one came out on top. Yeah, I love this one. Lucky ass, huh? You're right. That's um, the they probably are better uh, mics. These are these are all these are all about. I think this is like 150, 160 ish. Those are like 130. Yeah. Um, the uh, most producers, engineers, and stuff. Their favorite microphone. Their favorite Tom mics are like five hundred dollars. The uh, I mean these are still top quality. Can't get a model number now. Nice. Yeah, these this is this is great. Oh, this is this is this this one's gonna be fun magic, yeah. Cause we, you've seen the other um Tom mics we have. Yeah. They're really small. They're a lot smaller than these. Let's They're, they're, they're a lot smaller than, yeah. than these guys. You know how, how, how wide they are? Yeah, they're wide, but they're... <clears throat> not that wide. And definitely not this wide. Mm. So it's gonna... Man, dude, these are both... Yeah. These are actually cheaper than the other Sennheisers. You might want to show them this. I'll show them this one. All right. Well, let's, let's zoom in. Nice. Uh... All right, focus. There we go. Detail. Yep. I should have brought more than one light. <laughs> no, that still works. Yeah. This no matter cool. what, though, like, you'd have to see these. Amazing. If you want to see them in person, visit jmraudiorecording.com. Mm -hmm. I hope that website's up by then. <laughs> right. Just... <clears throat> All right, let's please back to the pouches. Uh, what else? This one, yeah. this one's yeah. right here. Two more microphones in the box. It's like Christmas. All right. It's, <laughs> this is adult Christmas. We're opening it. But it's all day. stuff that you buy. <laughs> Instrument microphone. The ADX. Yep. I5. Yep. Oh, that is cool. That's a cool looking box. That is, this is a good box. Yeah. Yeah. This might win for today's best box. box yeah. <laughs> today's best. Uh, we still have one more contender. All right, so. Yeah, I can think of it to this one. Anyway, yeah, this is like the SM57's like, brother. Or something. They're used for a lot of the same things. Um, that is cool. The, if you, people love the SM57 on guitars. So they love the Audix i5 mm -hmm. on guitars, guitars, Are snares. those the ones you personally use? I use a 57. Mm. Uh, I have a 57 at the studio. I'll, I'll switch between the 57 yeah. and a... And now you can switch from more. And a Sennheiser E906. Yeah. That little flat one I have, mm -hmm. that one. That one's nice. That one sounds really good. Not really clear. Audix sticker, spec sheet. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this is actually a little more simpler than the, oh, the electric voices, yeah. Huh? 
simply a nice the pouch is like a cross between the electric voice and this and this and the uh huh sure. it is it yeah. has that but it has it has that, that uh, yeah it feels padded too yeah perfect yeah the padding is yeah it went for it perfect <laughs> so sure is losing one. the pouch award ouch oh this thing's smaller than i thought it would be yeah thought it'd be longer in the box it's pretty small it actually looks pretty nice and, and like pictures, I would see it, and I'm like, yeah. eh. The, and the creases. This thing looks actually really nice in person. Yeah. And hold it. It feels it feels pretty substantial. Oh my gosh, it's like light and then really really. Yeah. Light. I've I've it? never used one of these. Mm, I want to use it. <clears throat> but I, I kind of bought it because it's the industry standard kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like everyone, it's one of those microphones you can use locker. For it. This is awesome. Oh. I was actually kind of like, eh, I'll throw this in the cart because it kind of needs something. Yeah, it'll work. So, one thing is you won't notice in here, you, you won't notice any overhead microphones because you already have those, mm -hmm. or hi-hat microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, most people for hi-hats love the um, small diaphragm condensers. Yeah. Like those little pencil microphones. Mm. At the church, These ones yeah, are there. that really long one on yeah. the at church. At the I, I've church. noticed it. It's yeah, pretty awesome. yeah, that one's like three fifty. Do you remember what the microphone that's called? It's like a sure, like eighty one. SM eighty one, I think. I want to say. Anyway, I, I, I always like that hi hat microphones ever sound good to me. Mm. I always like bury it in the, like a mix. I'm like, ah, I just I just pull up because I kind of I need it sometimes yeah. to add some just beef. Just to add it. Yeah, yeah. I don't like a lot of high I mean, end in it, so like not necessary. I'll probably like I'll just get like a, a a little condenser. So how would this one come into play? That's I would rather use it. Those. So, <clears throat> um, condensers versus dynamics. Mm -hmm. You know the ones that use phantom power. Yeah. Usually a little warmer, a little thicker sounding. That is high end. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that, I'll just get like some beefness out of that. From hi -hat. these ones. Yeah. I probably will still use that. That's like, something you want. That's Even something a lot of hi hat. With music yeah. going on. Yeah, a lot of hi hat beefiness. too kind of goes into the overheads. Mm -hmm. Anyway. It sounds so you too just kind of, you just, yeah, you just, yeah, yeah, you just, I usually just bleed it in a little bit for for the beef of like the, the, the attack. Yeah. Makes <clears> a lot of sense. Yeah, I like a beefy attack, which I don't really like condensers on hi hats. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna try this guy. I just need to get these. So between the Audix i5, mm -hmm. the Beta 57, and uh, my SF57. Mm -hmm. um, that one has the coolest one. Let's pull this one out again. Here's the comparing it to a short Beta. Both used for. I, I think what it is, I always see this one like used and beat up. I never see it new. Yeah. The same thing with 57. This actually looks super nice new. These ones look, oh, Honestly, look great. They both look clean. I think this one's like 100 bucks. This one's like 150, 160 ish. How do you tell the difference? I forget. Where's the invoice? Um, <laughs> trying to guess we prices. Lost like, it. Hit. Yeah. When you hit, go to cart and kind of just forget everything. So yeah, we'll need to buy that again. Hopefully. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. There you go. We have one more microphone. Are we in focus? That'd be annoying if we aren't. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. This one is beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Last microphone. Cool. Ooh. Blue. Oh, with a different color. Yep. Mm. I still so, give it to the i5. Yeah. <laughs> Best box. Yeah. Hey, what is this? From the side. Side? Is it the best one? Huh? Is this tape somewhere? From mm here. -hmm. No, because there's a thing here. Yeah, this opens here. Like this. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Cool. Let me get the foam out. The, the layer of foam. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Two different layers. Yeah, two layers. Layer down there. Silica gel. 
the Super paperwork, um, spec sheet, something in Chinese warranty card. There we go. Wow. This is bigger Dude, than I thought it would be. This that is, is nice. <clears throat> so this is one of, if not probably the first microphone purposely wow. made for the kick drum. Mm -hmm. That's why it has a classic sound. Yeah. Because it has a classic look too. For a while, this was the only. This this, this looks like an old spaceship, like from a seventies <laughs> movie. You know, it Star like, Trek. Yeah, this looks like something from like Star Trek or Star Wars. Oh. Wow. That is a good movie. I've never seen one of these up close. Oh, no, I think I did. I never actually like looked at it. Mm -hmm. I think mean, I just, I just, like, you oh, just oh, oh, oh an AKG V12. Like, I'll, 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 That'd be cool to have I'll use this I used this microphone before once. Oh, have that you? That one, uh, this was the microphone I was talking about. That oh, that's your friend brain. Yeah. yeah. I never actually like looked at it. Like, I saw like, oh, a D112. Oh, oh, you're a jazz band. I'm just going to grab this, put it on the stand, and throw yeah. it in your kick drum. We'll use that. So I actually looked at it. Yeah. Examined it, a new one. Now this is nice. cool. His was a little worn out. Um, yeah, I think his was a little older. This has some. That's a lot of weight. To yeah, it. It looks like it. So, um, the with these you can also put it on like a four tom or a bass guitar mm -hmm. or something. You could need any with low end. No, that is cool. Right, but oh, as long as it cool. captures the sound you want. Yep. So. It looks like JMR audio recording got a lot more versatile. Because you could use any of these microphones for anything. Mm -hmm. These, these Why not adventure? You could put these in front of um, the, the, those Tom mics in front of a guitar amplifier. Mm -hmm. This is a different sound, a different different kind of thing. Um, and oh. will, will you, we be making videos of those? Um, experimenting why, and stuff? Yeah, why not? Yeah, definitely. Is this just move like that? There's no screw? Yeah, it's oh, just there. Oh, what? This feels like really good quality. Wow. Cool. That is nice. That's a cool box. The other half. It's like this. This is this is very well protected in its in its box. It's this thick foam, uh, that 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 egg carton foam. Really. It's in there. Yeah. All right. We gonna call it. I think I think we're done. All right. I call it? Yep. Yep. Signing out. Thank you for watching.